Capricorn, hello, my darlings. Welcome to your weekly reading, a slightly different version of the weekly reading going forward. I'm going to keep it shorter and simpler. We're going to focus on a key word for you from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. If this reading resonates, that's the key word to think about this week uh, or whenever you're guided to see this reading as readings are timeless. Then we're going to be using my Veritas uh, Oracle deck. Oh, that noise. Veritas Oracle deck to give you a key message in relation to that keyword. And then we're going to be using the tarot, uh, which is the guardian angel messages tarot uh, to give you a piece of key spiritual advice um, for for this present moment. If this reading resonates, as I said, you are hearing it within your divine design. And this reading is for those that most need to hear it. So I'm going to start with the sacred destiny and we're going to be looking at the key word for Capricorn for whenever they're guided to see this reading. Thank you, Spirit, for those that most need to hear the message, the key word for Capricorn. There we go. Ooh, hello. We've got miracles and I'm seeing gateway on the bottom as well, which I will just uh, show to you too. So you are at the point of um, witnessing, perhaps after quite a stormy, unsettled, chaotic time in your life, certain things happening that you might consider, more than one, that you might consider uh, to be miraculous. And miracles are unexplained circumstances, aren't they? And I always see miracles as the wink from the universe, from God, from spirit to say, see, told you so and they are something that uh we pray for that, that we can pray for there is they that all we feel that are just unimaginably perfect to happen and then we are surprised when they do happen and it's almost that we have with miracles sometimes a law of detachment because we feel something's not possible to happen we give up the hold on it uh, the resistance that goes with holding on to something because we don't think it's going to happen. So this is miracles for you. This is the storm passing in your life. This is perhaps things that you couldn't believe were going to happen, have happened because on some subliminal level, consciously or subconsciously, you've had great faith and great trust and great belief in a higher power in the universe working through you or for you however you wish to see it so believe that you are deserving of this if you don't already and the word deserve means from latin to serve you have been of service you have been of service in whatever way you recognize being of service means and because of that you deserve. You deserve to receive this in response to the energy that you've been giving out. This is an equalization for you. And this gateway card is to expect the unexpected, to expect something that is magical, to expect something that you wouldn't begin to possibly believe could be true, like the unicorn. But you're already getting signs of it. This gateway is to say you're at this sort of point now, the key, you've opened the key to it, it's already happening, that there are maybe already, well, not maybe, there are already small signs of this evolving for you. So take note, believe even further, because there is nothing, there is no difference in the universe between the man manifestation of something miraculous and the manifestation of something that we might consider small. The more you're open to receive, the more you believe in the miraculous, the more you're able to welcome it in. And that's the key message for you this week. Miracles. You're at the gateway of miracles. Let's, oh, well, that's rather lovely. The gateway of miracles. Thank you, spirit. Uh, with uh, my Veritas Oracle, which is available to purchase online. The link is in the description box below. The cards already come out for you. Uh, you have flow. Um, <laughs> this this little, uh, it's a mill house, actually. It's near a place, well, it's a place called Ickham in Kent, a very beautiful mill house. We'll, and you've got the wheel here. And the, my friend Julia, the artist, drew this. And there is her little dog digging away for a bone. And you've got here the, the birds uh, coming in as well. So flow. We all hear this, don't we? Let go. Go with the flow. What does that mean? 
Let go and go with the flow of life force energy. It's the way of least resistance. Life force energy is things that seem to, that work through us. Uh, we are life force energy. It's when we go with something with no resistance. It's when we are living in a state of peace, happiness, anticipation, but a blissful state of anticipation and inspiration. It's when we let go of outcomes. It's when we allow ourselves to be taken without holding on to something, saying, no, I don't want to let go of this. I don't want to let go of this. It's about surrendering. It's about letting go of the control of how something is intended to happen and allowing the universe to surprise us with its divine intervention with that intention. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> that, was a, well, that was a good one. Um, so when we let go of that attachment, we allow things to speed up forward. And it's about imagining yourself floating downstream. There's nothing to hold on to. There's nothing to, to grip onto. And if you loosen your grip, on something, the solution, the miracle will present itself because solution in Latin, the loosening your grip, loose, to loosen in Latin is solvere, which is solution. So to loosen your grip, the solution will come in and it will be a miraculous one. I feel that, that there's a little bit of the energy of a dog with a bone here. So there's something that you can't yet see, but you're really focused on it and you think this is what you want. But allow yourself to be distracted from that, to see what else is happening. What are the signs or other things that are happening in your life, which is to show you, do you know what? Actually, there's bigger and better than that bone that you've buried and you'd forgotten about and you've remembered. There's other things. Take your head out of the sand and see what is happening for you. So just go with the flow at this time. Miracles, gateway, beautiful. And then let's have a look with the guardian angel. Oh, and um, the affirmation for this card, because all of my messages are on the back. But the affirmation for this card is I surrender now and allow life force energy to carry me gently towards a harmonious outcome. So that's your affirmation for this week. Surrendering to the miracles. How amazing is that? Surrendering to miracles. Uh, there's the card it just appeared i'm going to pull another one as well they've given me another one two of swords and the three of wands this is the first one surrendering now to the miracles to the flying ships that you can't possibly imagine are coming in but they're coming in surrender to that the three of fire the three of wands this is about your desires, your manifestations, the inspired action that you're taking at this time. It's about staking your claim, welcoming it in, giving it guideposts to come into. But it's not, a, and it's about, but it's about trusting that that ship cannot come in unless you expect it to happen or it's already happened. It can't arrive, it can't connect until you let go of how and when and just truly believe it's already happened, but also to trust in the fact that you deserve to receive it. That's the three of wands, goals, expansion, and vision. Maintain your vision. Trust that that vision is for an expanded version of your energetic self. And the goal of that is for you to evolve. So it may not happen quite the way you expect it to happen, but it's going to happen in a way that's miraculously beneficial for you. And alongside of that, with the two of swords, whatever you are undecided about at this time, confused about avoiding, perhaps this point of time in your life of indecision is because the universe is saying, look over here, look over here. You are not being encouraged to make a decision at this moment in time because something has yet to happen for you, which will show you the path ahead. The two of swords, the clarity of choice, the freedom of choice without confusion or doubt or fear. So expect be in a blissful state of anticipation of this readings resonating with you for almost like a miraculous intervention 
whenever you're seeing this reading to show you the way forward without falling because it's a little bit of an icy road here and just remain in a state of almost resolution that you know that the way forward will be shown. This is movement forward, my darling. So gateway, and also remember with this gateway, the gateway hasn't appeared for any old reason. The gateway's appeared because you're ready to step through that gateway. So whatever you've been doing before you step through that gateway has been preparing you for what is ahead. And this is more than one blessing that's coming into your life. So again, believe you deserve it and you will receive it in a version that is for your greatest good. So much love to you. I look forward to doing another reading for you next week. In the meantime, angels, take care and have a beautiful rest of the week. Lots of love. Bye-bye.